Brad, I'm doing a review of a couple of Wi-Fi fixing apps because I'm no, I know I'm not the only one out there that made the mistake of buying a Netgear uh, wireless N router and found out that your phone doesn't seem to like it too much. What you can do, you can fix it. Well, no, this doesn't really fix the problem. It just makes it a little bit more bearable. Puts a bandaid huh. on it. Yeah, it puts <laughs> a bandaid on it. It's um. One's called Wi-Fi Fixer, and it's the free app. I've been using this one pretty much since I've had my phone because I've had uh, wireless problems with my router since I've had my phone. Yeah. So all it is is basically you turn it on. At least you don't have an iPad that kills the network. And you got a little <laughs> thing that says active and just tells you a little bit of low resource background program. So you get some preferences. Um. You can set it so that it'll disable the service. So there's some advanced options like uh, the Wi-Fi usability, notifications, log menus, widget behavior. Uh, advanced options are like setting the Wi-Fi lock, disabling sleep, sleep policies, uh, disable supplicant fixes. It's got some Nexus One um, um, fixing things too. Well, that's cool. But what this will do is when you when it when you're sitting there and you're looking at your phone and it's, you got full bars on your Wi-Fi but you can't seem to access nothing it says it, you you keep getting a connection problem, it'll reset your Wi-Fi on your phone. It'll turn it off and turn it back on and make oh, it reconnect. Cool. And uh, it renews the DHCP lease. Yeah, if you want to get technical, that's what it does. Uh-huh. So I uh, wish they had that for my phone because <laughs> Apple doesn't know how to do that. So yeah. that will give you a temporary bearable fix. But I mean it gets kind of, sometimes it'll sit there and it'll work for a while and it won't it won't have to renew it and other times it'll sit there and it'll keep doing it constantly. I guess it just depends on the router or something, I don't know. And the other one I got was Fix My Wi-Fi, which is a dollar or a 99 cent paid app. And I didn't like this one as much. I didn't think it worked as good. Um, basically it does the same stuff and tells you what you're connected. This one actually tells you a little bit more about the network that you're connected to and if you're connected. Cool. Uh, the preferences are pretty much uh, fixed preemptively notifications, ringtones for the notification sleep policy. This one has less options and it also use Wi-Fi lock. I really, like I said, I didn't care for that one. Well, the other one seems like it offers some more options and fixes. Yeah, it does. The, the the Wi-Fi fixer one actually works better, and it's free. That's nice. So those are the two that I had a review on. I couldn't really find a whole lot of them out there. So there That's you cool. go.